Bum 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 bum. Hello, everybody. What's going on here? I'm here, and I'm ready to speak with you. Yeah, you know about it. And let's uh, open our this chat. Yes, I was reading Quora, and I want to learn it uh, with you. My question was, how do you feel when you speak English? Like, uh, do you feel it's emotionally or not? Okay, let's read the story. Eva Elizabeth Complice career wrote it. I'm Belgian, so many native English is Flemish, and I also speak French, German, and of course my favorite English! In our small country, which is surrounded by different European countries, who all have their own native language, and often second and third th languages, we don't dub what is dub, the conversations and sounds the television show and movies. We subtitle them in mainly Flemish and French, and according to the region, sometimes German. What is dub? The conversation we don't dub. Dub maybe is understand. One moment. Dub. Ah, dub is when we have uh, duplication. By the way, I need to. Ah, it's our video. One moment. English video about learning process. English process. Process. English learning day. Day. Okay, let's public. Publish. We will do this. Okay. Therefore, we are exposed to original input. We hear and experience the original language. Use and adapt even some vocabulary and since learning also works through passive exposure, we tend to pick up languages quite fast and easy. And since learning also works through passive exposure. We tend to pick up languages quite fast and easy. Okay, because of the rather small size and location of the country, we have to be flexible and open-minded towards our neighbor countries concerning effective communication and international marketing. Languages are therefore also very important in our school education. Personally, I love speaking English because it gives me the opportunity to discuss certain topics in a slightly... slightly light the weighted manner in comparison to the more seriously and heavy weighted words we use in our native language to, 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 to the manner in comparison okay it's easier to play with to clarify something and even to make fun of others or situation which would be censored of frowned upon when used in our own language one language it's sometimes the sound, the popularity of common use and globalization of words and expression that makes it sound acceptable and non-threatening or misinterpreted. I realize I still make a lot of mistakes and my use of the language is far from flawless, even subconsciously offending people by using wrong or misplaced words our expressions, but then I see myself as a global citizen trying to make society understood, and I'm proud of uh, our little country for all the willingness and efforts we make to communicate with the rest of the world. At least we try. I'm going to answer this honestly, and I still feel shy while speaking English. The reason is that I have never spoken to so much of this language throughout yet. So yes, I'm working on it, and I'm developing a great skill to be confident and speak English like a pro. Right now, I feel shy and faking, and <laughs> sorry, and lacking confidence. But I will soon be fluent, and of course, will edit the answer things. Frankly, I feel different from when I speak my mother tongue. The way different from when I speak my mother tongue. The way I pronunciate words, they will intake my voice, the way I articulate my thoughts, the way I express my ideas, everything just feels different to some extent. In my opinion, this applies to any language other than my mother tongue. This applies to any language other. Because simply every language is already unique and beautiful in its own way. So I prefer speaking in English since it makes me feel more confident and comfortable, but sometimes my mother tongue is still the best since I just feels easier to express my anything I wish. So yeah, different is plainly what I feel. I feel really good inside because the English language has a large vocabulary to express our self-desire. For example, the word feeling great 
were so blessed or feeling fantastic words have power to make us happy or set positive or negative english is one language worth having and improving as most popular books are in english one worth having worth having and improving what is worth having okay what did i learn that it's not what i search for what i wanted what i looked looked for yes i wanted to find information about how to feel english like a uh, how to feel english words how to feel this all things communication skills how to feel like a fish in water how to feel like this but i didn't find it okay we will search we will continue our journey i will be with fully emotional contact with english thank you so much see you next time bye bye <laughs>